graders, welcome to week six of our online learning. Um, we're going to start part one today by doing some writing reviews. So go ahead and get your whiteboard and marker or um, paper and pencil, whatever you need. If you need to put me on pause, go ahead and do that. And we're going to start with our letter sound review. Okay, when we come to a vowel, we'll, we'll do the sound that the vowel makes and then um, the name that it says. And what I want you to do today is try to beat me. Try to say the sound on your end before I make my sound here. Okay? All right, are you ready? Here we go. Rrr. Mmm. Oh. Qua. G. Ha. Mmm. X. Mmm. Yeah, but this one can also say I or E, right? I or O. I or I. T. A or you. Now we're back to her. Good job, first graders. Okay, go ahead and get your whiteboard or paper, and let's do a little review here. I want you to start by writing your vowels on your board. So what are our vowels? Those are the words, our hardest workers. They're special because they can say their sound or their name. Um, all the other letters in the alphabet are called consonants. So go ahead and write your vowels. If you're not ready, go ahead and hit pause until you finish writing them and start the video back up. For your vowels, you should have A, E, I, O, U. Sometimes, Y. Good job. Okay, go ahead and erase that. Or just move down your paper if you're using paper. And I want you to write the two letters that make the sound shh. Pause, but if you do, show me. Hopefully, you have SH sisters, right? Saying shh. I feel like there's a glare sometimes on my board. Okay, SH, good. All right, now we've worked on, since we started these computer lessons, we've worked on two ways to make the E sound. Who remembers those two ways to make the E sound in a word? Write them down on your board. show E E and E A. So like in the word eat, we have E A saying E and when a bird says cheep cheep, we have the E E making the sound E and cheep. Now from class, um, from your first grade class you probably know another way uh, like in the name Pete we have that silent E at the end, and he's making the vowel E say his name. Let me show that like this. Um, and that's another way to make the E sound, right? But we've worked on E, E, and E, A. All right. Now, we're going to write three sight words that we've worked on the last few weeks, okay? The first one I want you to write is the word for. Um, I am going to the store for milk. So not the number four, um, the other four. Let's see if we remember how to spell it. It's on our sight word cards. And if you don't have it paused, but if you do, 
Let's look at it. We have the sound and then the little word or, and that's our word for. You might have written it like this, F-O-U-R, that is the number four, right? Okay. Now, I want you to write the word I. So we're doing the word I that means me. I am going to Disney World. Not really. I wish. Um, how would we write that word I? Go ahead and write it. And show. This is an easy one. When we are easy to write. Okay, so when we write this word I, it's always going to be uppercase, no matter where it comes in a sentence. Okay, um, and it's just the letter I. Now the other word I that we see frequently, there's, there's a couple ways to spell I actually. This is I like your eyeball. Okay, E-Y-E. -E. This I means me. We also have this I, which you might not have seen before. This is a pirate, the pirate word I like. I, matey, that's A-Y-E. Okay, a couple different ways. And the last word we're going to do today, because this was a tricky um, sight word that we worked on earlier. I don't remember what week it was, um, computer work. But um, the word there, that means um, the there that belongs to them. Let's write it. So it is their cat. How are we going to write the word there? Pause if you need to. If not, this is the word that we worked on um, several weeks ago. There, T-H, making that mm sound, E-I-R. Okay, just so you know, there are a couple other words to, a couple other ways to write there. So we have T-H-E-R-E, -E, which means a pl um, place. Go put that paper over there. And we have this, there, which is a contraction for they are. So there going to the store. They are going to the store. All right. Go ahead and erase that. And we're going to end by going through our sound drill and looking at our new sound that we're working on today is when A.W. says, aw. Right? And I'm going to show you, if we were in class, I would read you the secret story about A.W. and A.U. A.W., and AU just absolutely love each other. So when they're together, they make the sound, ah. So you see these two lovebirds, two pairs of lovebirds, in words like crawl, ah, crawl, and haul, ah, haul. So you, you have to um, be familiar with words to know, am I going to choose A-W to make the ah sound or A-U to make the ah sound? Today, we're just going to focus on A-W. So when you hear that ah sound in a word, we're going to work on A-W today. Okay, so you can be familiar with some of the words that use A-W. All right, we're going to do our sound drill and then move on to video number two. So here we go. When I touch the... Um, Letters, you say the sounds, and then I'll say the sounds after you. So this new one is aw. Next, k, e, ch, m, ha, e, j, e, e, aw. E, k, e, a, ing, a, a, m, b, m, a, j, a, ch, e, sh. All right, good job, first graders. Um, for video two, you're also going to need something to write with and something to write on, okay? So if you have time, you can go ahead and start up video two, and um, if not, come back to it when you have time. Okay, bye-bye.